Ah, how's it going, Rackle viewers? Grim Gang, right back into more Red Dead Redemption 2. And my sincerest apologies for not realizing how high uh, my mic sensitivity is and just how much it's picking up and how loud it is. <laughs> That's my bad. I've uh, been away from this for a while, and I keep forgetting that the closer I sit to my mic, I kind of need to uh, double check and make sure I'm not red barring like I am right now. One quick moment. The joys of video editing and the joys of uh, audio levels. That all said, I left this basically right where we left off. It is the morning and <laughs> yeah, not exactly a great stopping point, but here we are in the epilogue. I'm in a hurry, even if you're not. Which books was that? You know, that dime novel of Boy Calloway and the Men from the Moon or whatever it was. Man, it's a hayride. I'll do my best to find better reading material, Pa. Is that what you like, then? Western tales? Boy. What's that, sir? Do you enjoy tales of the Wild West? Not so much. Anymore. You're in the Wild West. I've been reading about knights. You know, of the round table. The king. What's his name? Arthur. King Arthur. And there's Sir Lancelot. And the Lady Guinevere. And a whole lot of others. Those names. I kind of like them. You know what? So do I. Arthur. It always astounded me just how well read Jack is. Well, I think. I'm trying to remember this. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. It was Hosea that taught. Uh, them how to read, wasn't it? I swear I heard that. I know someone in the gang that was teaching him how to read. Man, the little things we take for granted, you know? Back in the day, it was a luxury to be able to read. I bet that sign says strawberry, don't it? I got a good feeling about this place. Been a long time. <laughs> Abigail, I love you and your innocence in some things. Even though you're, well, a self proclaimed thief. <clears throat> as we found out in the last episode. Why don't you pull up just here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, damn, won't get on my back. Let's go see what kind of good, honest work I can find. Grave digging or polishing some rich fella's boots or some such. Me too. See if me and the boy can find some laundry work or something. Laundry work. All right then. Hello. Hey. It's only nice. He said hi to me. Who help wanted? Help you, son. I'm hoping I can help you. I saw the help wanted sign outside. Sure, but uh, you're a bit old to be stacking groceries and running errands, ain't you, son? Well, uh, I ain't too proud to do nothing. Mm. As long as it's honest and it pays. <laughs> Time's hard, Mr. Uh, uh, Milton. Jim Milton. Mm. Yeah, my wife and I and our boy, we was robbed mm. a few days ago. Lucky to get out with our lives, we was. Now, uh, well... We need money. Yeah, there's bad folk out there. Yeah, tell me about Not it. a wagon by any chance? I'm sure. Well, then maybe you could run some goods up to Pronghorn Ranch for me. You know, uh, head west past Owen Gila, then follow the road north, lead you right there. I, I don't know where that is, but I'm sure I can find it. I can leave right now if it, you'd like. It's Getty's place. Fine fella. Uh, where's the wagon? It's just outside. Um, you know, I should go tell my wife and then. I can come back and get loaded. No, my boys can load you up while you go find your wife. Okay. It's weird seeing John just do actual, like, old school work. So weird. <laughs> Red Dead Redemption 2, where you can be 
the delivery guy <laughs> of the Old West. Hey, who am I kidding? In the online version, there's actually missions where you deliver mail. Thank you, Doctor. Hey, <laughs> how you getting on? Well, found some work. Me too. Delivering goods out to some ranch. Cleaning a doctor's surgery. Fine living. It is, John. Oh, it is. This is the way to it. I'll take your word on that. Well, what do you suggest now? I'll stay here. Get on with the work. You deliver them goods and then collect me. Okay. And John, I love you. Aww. Don't you forget that. Not ever now. Oh. Well, for as much as those two pick on each other and freaking give each other crap. That's... that's... Just... beautiful, you know? But I still expect one to slap the other at some point. God, their fights get kind of atrocious. Up pretty good, Milton. Good. Now you ride slow now. Yetis don't want his goods damaged. Of course. Oh, slow. Yay. My favorite speed. Ooh. Slow. Well, I guess this episode is going to be mostly me BSing, isn't it? Hooray. That's all right. Past Owen Chila, then... Follow the road north. Okay. I wonder, am I able to... Okay. Good. But of course I have to hold the button down at least. I can't just coast right through this. <laughs> so... Ah. Lord Almighty. Also, my apologies to anyone that's going to get ticked off uh, about uh, the fact that I wore the Clint Eastwood outfit for, like, one episode of this. I mean, I knew we were getting to the end of the game, so I kind of was thinking... I've done all these created outfits. I've done... I have over 70 videos of Legends of the West now. Most of them are outfits. I kept thinking, it's like, you know, I've never actually, like, shown off something unique. I've never done something just me, you know? It's always something from a movie, or a video game, or, well, history. So, like, kind of decided, it's like, you know what, for the end game, I'm, I'm gonna just wear something I make. I'm gonna wear something that I made for myself. I was really debating on that jacket, though. I mean, I... I I feel like I use that, uh... I think it's the classic frock coat, right? It's the one I use in the, uh... Charlie Prince videos and the Charlie Prince outfit. Just black and red. My personal favorite colors. Like, I felt like I was using that jacket a little too much, but I decided ultimately, it's like, you know what, no, there's a reason I use this jacket so much. I love it. And it's in my colors. How can I not use it, you know? Of course. Go past it. North. Hello, right, horse. Beep beep. God, this game. I'm actually really happy. I just took like a massive break after all the pre-recordings I did up to. God, I think it was number 47. Yeah, I recorded all the way up to 47. Then I just haven't like really touched the game, save for doing the Legends of the West stuff uh, for months. And now coming back to it, I feel like I can appreciate it again. Though that burnout for a while was very, very real. Dear sweet lord. Like... <laughs> I... I just get to the point where I was not liking this game anymore because of how horrible that burnout was when I was doing Legends of the West like every day. That, that was bad. That was straight up franchise for fatigue right there. That was terrible. Don't anyone trying to get into YouTube, don't do that. Don't don't ever do that. That's a bad idea. Always keep the stuff is fun. And maybe side away one day where you're 
basically being a sellout for views. Of course, that's for anyone doing YouTube, really. Always keep it fun, always make sure you're doing something you love, because you'll never hate it. So feel free to experiment a lot, because that's where you'll find all sorts of fantastic things coming to you. Now we go north. John, are we there yet? John? John? Johnny? Johnny? John boy. John boy. John boy. Why am I doing a freaking Family Guy reference? Screw that. I haven't seen Family Guy in a while. This area looks familiar. Is this where I think it is? Oh wow, we passed that infamous cougar spawn I hate so much. Jeez. Wait, was it a cougar or a panther? I don't remember which one it was. I remember it being one of the big cats that like to kill you in one hit. God, I remember the first time I hit this area and my first thought was, I have no idea where I'm at. I don't know where this is, because I... My first playthrough, I didn't get too much into the hunting or anything, so I never really visited this area unless the game told me to. Wait a tick. I just realized this set of buildings wasn't here before on the map. Wow. Hello! Special delivery for a, uh... I forget your name. Giddens? Was it Giddens? I don't remember. You Mr. Geddes? Geddes. No, sir. I'm Mr. Dickens, his overseer. Jim Milton. I'm delivering some supplies from the store in Strawberry. Okay. This is quite a place. Yes, it's beautiful. Oh. They send everything? Yeah, mm. I think so. So, partner, your boss, he looking for hands? Why, you looking for work? Yeah, my wife, we was in business with her family and turned sour. It's a long story. Yeah, I don't know. Married hands. It's a lot of trouble. I'm a good worker. My wife, Agatha, even our boy, Lancelot. We're all one. Big man around, boy? Get the hell out of here. <laughs> now, that ain't very neighborly. And threatening us is neighborly. <laughs> hey, mind if I enjoy one of these apples? Put that down. <laughs> Delicious. Oh, <laughs> when's uh, Boss Man gonna sell this place, boy? I don't think there's any plans for that. You boys want a drink? It's some fine scotch whiskey. Put that down. Put that down. Oh, these supplies for the season. Get off the farm. Come on. <laughs> we know when we're not wanted. Get down from there. <laughs> Bye, bud. <laughs> you come back here. You can use that horse. And don't get yourself hurt. No promises. This one's got a stone in his boot. That's my damn wagon. A holes. Don't oh, ever touch my wagon. Oh, now he stole the horse. <laughs> well, yeah, I. Yeah. Oh well. Wasn't my horse anyway. <clears throat> so, was that horse important to you all, by any chance? Thank you, Milton. Isn't it? Those boys are out of Laramie, work for Mr. Abel. Thank you. Don't mention it. Listen, I ain't looking for no charity or nothing, but 
I was serious. You got work? We'll work. I can do anything. We got... We got robbed ourselves a few days back. We ain't got married hands here. You're married. I work harder than any one of them. I'm real honest, and my wife, even though she's got fancy thoughts, she'll work. You're kind of desperate. What trouble you in? No trouble, sir. Aside from her brother, he tricked us and robbed her of her inheritance. We're good people. We'll mm. work. Even Lancelot. <laughs> what does Mr. Geddes need with a boy? Just another mouth to feed. Just... Please give us a chance. I can handle myself, okay? You know that already. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Makes me wonder just who would have robbed you. But we'll give you a chance. I'll let Mr. Geddes know when him and his wife return tomorrow. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. I'll go get my wife. Nah, no, you stay here. It's getting late. We'll go get her in Strawberry. We'll bring her here tomorrow. We need you around in case any more of them Laramie boys turns up. There's a, a little cabin out yonder past the ranch house. If things work out, y'all can stay there. Thank you. You'll not regret this. Yep. Go get yourself settled. We'll have work for you tomorrow when Mr. Geddes returns. Oh, the joys of just not being confrontational. All it takes is a hired bully to screw with you. Never be afraid to deck someone right in the nose, kids. Sometimes, uh... I hate to say this, but violence is the answer. I have a very weird ethos about me, honestly. But generally, the rule of thumb is give what you get, you know? Which basically is also a translation of a uh, answer violence with violence. Passivism is only grand and fantastic when it works. When it doesn't work, uh, well, it doesn't work now, does it? Whew. Give me a... hmm? Mr. Geddes? Milton, get over here. Howdy. Mr. Geddes, this is the new ranch hand I told you about. Well, I heard you had some trouble with your welcome, but you kept your nerve and protected my property. Yeah. No, it was nothing, sir. Mm -hmm. I'm David Geddes. Pleased to meet you. John, Jim, <laughs> Milton. Thank you for the opportunity, sir. Keep you and Mr. Street, Dickens. Well, you work hard. You be honest. You'll get your keep. I promise you that. Boy has a family. Oh, lucky man. Then you better work extra hard. Good day, Howdy, sir. gentlemen. Sir. You hear that, John, Jim? Extra hard. Hey, hey, hmm? get over here. Mr. Dickens? Go find old Jim Milton here something to do. Make sure he works extra hard. Sure, Mr. Dickens. Shit. <laughs> I was say, what are you gonna do, mate? <laughs> Come on this way. I, I was on my chores anyhow. Say. Is that your family getting in the wagon up there? Ah, oh, believe it is. Mind if we go welcome them? Not at all. Hey, is it true what they said about you when you arrived? Mm -hmm. That you ran off those hired guns? Nah. Yeah, we, uh, no. Not discuss this in front of my wife. I. Oh. Uh, I'm not confrontational no, at sure. all. No. Yeah, of course, Mister. I totally haven't killed no, people. Warrior. Oh, yeah. I hear that. Ooh, who this are you? You're Milton. pretty. Jim Milton. How have you seen? This kind man just collected us. Thank you, sir. Damn, she cleaned up I pretty. Be okay here. It's ranching Oof. work. This place is kind of. It's fine. But I hear you began your career in ranching by throwing your weight around. <laughs> Real wise, Jim. What was I supposed to do? The place was getting robbed. So you show everyone who's boss? Real fine. I didn't have much of a choice. I gotta go. Jack, when you're done in here, come on out and lend a hand. I was going to True love. <laughs> come on, I'll do it. You? Are gonna milk the cows? Sure. <laughs> Why not? Oh, uh, I don't know. I, I thought you was, uh... I'm a ranch hand. A new one, at that. 
When you got here, them hired guns? I was just getting my wagon back. That's all. More nothing. Oh, it weren't nothing. It was about time someone stood up to them fellers. No. Oh. Where are you from anyway, partner? Uh, uh you know, up north, mostly. Been sure. in these parts before, but that was years ago. Oh, <laughs> it's changed. The rich fellas are coming in and buying everything, the ranches. But well, it ain't as wild as it once were, at least. There is that. Say, if it ain't too personal a question, are you a gunslinger, mister? <laughs> Good lord, no. <coughs> nope. Nope. Nothing like that. Nope. Uh, no. No. Just a ranch Ooh. hand, then. Yes. Just a ranch hand. Just a ranch hand. Yep. Failed at a bunch of things, like most men. <laughs> well, I feel a whole heap better having a ranch hand like you around. That is for sure. Seriously, are you all just a bunch of pussies? See how you feel once you see me work. <laughs> At this point in South Park, the uh, A would have came up, would have screened microaggression, and I would have been punched in the face. Because that's demeaning to... I don't freaking know. I don't get the culture anymore. Outrage culture is weird. Never made sense to me. Be outraged for the sake of outrage. Yeah, we used to have a bunch of women here did most of the milking. Most of them drifted off. Why? Okay. You fine with milking? Yeah. No. I ain't really done much of it. Could never, never really get the hang of it. You serious, mister? <laughs> sure. It's Jim. I said new. Jim Milton. Hey. Very new. Sit down, I'll show you how. For God's sakes, even I know how to milk a damn milk. cow. She don't take too kindly to surprises. But then again, I grew up in the Pacific Northwest and I lived in, uh, Cheyenne, Wyoming for a while, so now we're talking. it's less surprising what I pick up. Now I think about it. That's right, squeeze them teats. Hey, Paul, is that your boy? Sure. Hey, Lancelot. Well, hey, Lancelot. Hey. Tom Lance. We're gonna make it makes more sense and it sounds normal. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I minutes. never thought I'd see the day. Watch and learn, partner. We all gotta earn That's our keep. That's enough, Jim. Come on. How about you and the boy uh, help me clean out the stables? Sure. You know what? Let me correct myself. Course, huh? Yes, I know how to milk. But I know how to milk goats. It's kind of the same thing, right? Twelve, sir. What? Don't judge. It's such a fine name. I like it. I got. <laughs> I got imaginative parents, sir. <laughs> I can tell. Now, yeah. It ain't sure. pleasant work, but it's got to be done. Mr. Dickens said. I know what he said. We'll do it. <coughs> Won't we, boy? Hurt me. Mm-hmm. I really need to clear out my lungs. Ugh. Okay. What am I doing? Well, you get them stalls cleaned out, and I'll see you later. Bye. Clean the stalls. Okay, Jack. Let's just try and take some pride in this work, hard as it may be. Boy, bring that wheelbarrow over here and keep it close to me. Yes, sir. <sighs> well, I've had shittier jobs, both figuratively You're and all literally. Way from Angelo Bronte's mansion now. Sorry, sir. Nothing. Be careful. What's wrong, boy? You scared of a little shit? Look out. John Marston. The terror of the turds. <laughs> the turds? What? Ew. Oh. Just some cow horse shit i don't know but shit it's just shit you make it <laughs> breakthrough of gameplay right here <laughs> cleaning up horse shit shoveling great jesus christ 
I reckon even your mother would say we're almost done here. You finish things up, I'll go check on her. Okay. God, if only that was that actually quick and simple. It really is not in life. It sucks. Also, my god, John, you are freaking thin. 24. Wait. <gasps> wait a moment. Wait, wait a tick. Wait a tick. Wait a tick. I should. I should. Where would it be? What? Three. I had like 40 of the. Oh, right. I don't have the satchels anymore. Crap. That's fine, though. Uh, where, where, where? It has to be in tonics, right? Yes. One moment. Don't I have one of these each? Oh, crap. Was I only ever allowed to carry, like, one each? Well, I guess hoarding all those wasn't a great idea then. Damn. Oh, well. Screw it. Do, 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 do. I'm saving these actually for this specific part, no less. <laughs> Littering! My god, my ne'er do well ways are just not done yet, it seems. Jesus. Honey, I'm home. Hey. Hey. Where's Jack? Shoveling shit in pursuit of the better life you want? Yeah. Same as I've been? Won't do him no harm. I uh, know. You're dysentery? Guess maybe we can last here. Survive. Do a little better than survive for once. I'm tired of fleeing, John. So, well, you know. Me too. Mm -hmm. Let's bang. <laughs> oh, God, that's sickeningly cute. True love, kids. True love. Morning, honey. I'll put some coffee on. <laughs> There's that. Wait, no, that's not the hat. What the hell is gold for shoveling shit? Wait, what? Ah, oh, screw it. I'll look at that later. Uh, we're about at 30 minute mark, but I'm gonna keep going. Screw it. I keep telling you all I'm gonna make these videos longer, and so far the only real long one I have was the finale. Everything else has been like right at the bare 30 minute mark. As is usually my thing. Uh, what do we have next? We have that big old area. We got cow milking. And we got whatever that is. Tom Dickens. Oh, wait, I think I know that. I think that's the fence. I want, yeah, I want to build a fence. Also, you'd be amazed about the random stuff you can learn from games like this. Like, if you pay attention and you just have an eye for detail, you'd be amazed at what you can just randomly pick up from video games. It's weird. I Man, I learned how to clean up. AR-15 rifle from Metal Gear Solid. Hey, I suppose that makes sense, though. Can you give me a hand with this fence? Sure. Know much about fence building? Not really. Can't build a fence, can't milk a cow, ain't used to shoveling shits, but took on a gang of robbers single-handed. Guess we all got our peculiarities, Mr. Dickens. What was you doing before you came here? Hmm, I told you. Wife got cheated out of inheritance. We was in a legal dispute. It was a bad time. That sounds awful. Mm -hmm. I guess I don't believe a word of it. That's fair. <laughs> I mean, it's I all was lies. Raised to take a man at his word. And also to believe this is a free country. It's so free that I can't tell you what to think. So I guess it don't much matter what you believe. <sighs> but I will work hard and I learn fast. Okay. Give me a hand with this fence. Can do. Yep. There's plenty more to do. Pound it in.
in there, we don't want it coming down. Oh, working in the field yeah, all day. Rail, line it up with a notch. In the merry, merry in. month oh. of May. Milton. I'm, now, I'm doing it. The other side, they got to line up, see? Now the next rail. This is like a square peg in a round hole kind Good. of thing here. Fine. But no, old school fence building. It's literally that simple. That's it. And hewing the planks and logs in these shapes with these holes actually is pretty damn simple with that looks even okay. a rock. Go to the next post and pound that in. That's it. It's going to take a while with a rock. Don't do it with a rock. I hope you've grasped the basics. There's actually, I got other in my neighborhood, someone that has a fence just like this in this old school me. way. All right. So long. I'll be counting sections when you're done. And I had a okay. weird respect for the homeowner suddenly because he actually used to tell us how he built that all by hand. Like down to, he got the logs himself and actually shaped them properly and shaved them down, sanded them, and built the fence by himself, by hand, with very simple rustic tools. And it's like, when I was a kid, I didn't give a damn. After this though, yeah, it was weird. You see that man at the bar all the time. I kind of miss talking with him. He's a good guy. I put... You don't know how to build a fence. Hey, stop building that fence and come over here. Make up your damn mind. Come on, son. No, what get over here. the come fuck? On. Come on, what are y'all doing with this bull? Know much about bulls, Milton? No! Uh, just the basics. Don't make him mad. Angus Geddes, this is Jim Milton. Mr. Milton? Howdy. This is your boss's son. Nice to meet you. Let's try and move this great hunk of Chuck. Come on, move! Oh, right in the balls! Why? Shit! I'll get him. Just keep on him, Milton, and try and calm him down. I gotta build that. No, you don't. Shit! What's the roll again? There's a roll, right? X, okay. Let's say I knew there was one. Come on, boy. Come on. Let's talk. Oh shit. Ah! I mean I honestly don't know what I expected to happen there, but uh oh. No, no. Bad bull! Uh, I mean, most of the fence is there. Come here, Toro. Shoot. Shoot. Oh, shit. Oh, 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 oh. Do not gore me in the testicles. Come on. Gotcha. How am I going to calm this thing down? You don't look like you're going to wind down. <laughs> but I'll try. There, there. There, there. Oh, there. Oh, there. Easy, easy. It ain't so bad. Nice and easy now, boy. All better? Okay. <laughs> now come on, you hunk of Chuck. Come on. Maybe not on. insult the bull. Got him, Mr. Dickens. Oh, good. How you doing, son? A bit sore, but I'll be okay. Thank you, Mr. Milton. My That's pleasure. Nice. I'm missing a testicle. Are you, mister? Fine. He just got my head. <laughs> Good. There he is. Right on. See you later, Jim Milton. We'll make a rancher of you yet. God, this makes me miss Wyoming so much. I mean, there's a lot more trees here than Wyoming, but... Same feel. Oh, is it time for? Oh, so no morning oral, honey. I'm headed to work today myself, Jack. Huh? So you stay out of trouble. Where are you working? I told you. 
cleaning at the doctor's office. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Get the place to tidy. Okay, Pa. I'll see you later. Three whole dollars. Okay, what the hell's gold for that? Well, that was easy. Oh, avoid being hit by the bull. Well, if I can remember what the hell the dodge button was. It's X, by the way, on the Xbox. Probably would have figured that out. Okay, where are we at? Uh, it's only been 35 minutes. You gotta be kidding me. Screw it. We'll do it. We'll, we'll do another mission then. Like, mission. Labor. Chores. That's what I'm doing. These aren't missions. It's insulting. Thank God I have all those trinkets. I do have all those trinkets, right? I'm a uh, okay, here we go. Okay, good. I do have... I'm assuming all of them, then. That makes things a lot easier. I'm gonna have to have to drink that. <laughs> I never did manage to get max length on hair. And beard. I've gotten close, but never actually max. But Abe, Mr. Geddes. You got an answer for me? Mr. Geddes, I I said Abe, yes, sir. where are the other hand? Uh, I thought I said I don't rightly know, Mr. Geddes, sir. Well, what good is that to me? We got three horses lost. Possibly more, a mare about to full, sir, and no hands to help with any of it. I'm supposed to be heading into town. This place is chaos. Hey, Pa! Can I get some help? Pa! Milton, Milton, you good with horses? I'm okay. Yeah, I'll do sure. whatever needs doing, sir. Good man, can you help my boy, my youngest Duncan? He will insist on riding Jeremiah, a horse that is far too strong for him. And my wife will need help with this mare. Abe? Sir? You and Dickens better not make any more mistakes like you did today, you hear? No, sir. Thank you. Both of you. Come on, he's over here. I'm good. You get on. Go find them horses. No, no, no. I'll show you. Since you showed up, runaway horses been the sum of our problems. And I am thankful for that. I ain't done <laughs> too much... <sighs> I ain't much of a rancher. Oh, heck. Hey, maybe them Laramie boys weren't so tough after all, huh? Maybe I could have handled them. <laughs> of course you could. They're just loud mouths. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, is that what the boss is doing in town? Some business with them boys or something? Well, when Mr. Geddes goes into town, well, it ain't exactly for, uh, business. Oh. Uh. Whores. Uh, gotcha. Okay then. I I, I gotcha. Right. He'll be mm -hmm. just at the end there. Prostitutes. Well, I better get two. Thanks, kid. I think at least. I honestly had no freaking clue what the hell they're talking about. I'm just guessing whores. It's the old west. You Duncan? I'm Jim. Jim Milton. Hey. Need a hand with that horse? No. Well, uh, you sure about that? Yeah, you do. Yes, yes, I do. There you go. A big one. <laughs> That's Jeremiah. Relax. Okay, Jeremiah. There, boy. You done? Come on. Come on. Easy, boy. Oh, someone put some onions on their oats, didn't they, boy? <sighs> Calm down. <sighs> he likes you. I ain't sure he likes any of us, but I'll make him respect me and behave. Can't you teach me how to make him behave same way as he does for you? I'm supposed to go help your mother. She's got a horse in full. <laughs> That'll take hours. Well, training a horse can take hours. Mm. Just give me a quick lesson, sir. Please. Okay. I'm gonna take him out first. Burn some of this heat off of him. Okay, I'll wait in the corral. Alrighty, boy. We're gonna tucker you out real quick. Come on! Let it all out of you. Let's get a lather up.
Just riding around in circles, just riding around in circles. I'm actually getting motion sick. <laughs> so. Alright, that's enough of that. Ugh. Okay. That was fun, what? You can behave now, can't you? Greetings, fellow cows. Alright. <laughs> He's ready for you. Okay. Get on up there and Oh, did we never fix this freaking fence? Stay calm. Me? The horse. You're calm. The heart's beating a little. Keep your voice calm and your legs strong. Don't let old Jeremiah sense fear. I won't. Doing fine. Real nice. Not that I'm saying you need one, but hmm? you sure there isn't another horse for you to ride around here? I had a pony, but I'm too grown for him now. Yeah? You think my son could borrow one? Huh? Lancelot? Yeah. Sure. Yeah, Lancelot. I'll get a by your cabin there. All right. Thank you, son. Can I ask, are we in trouble from all these Laramie boys? Why does everyone keep asking they say that? Mr. Abel's real rich. Way richer than Pa. And he's got all these hired guns out of Laramie, and if Pa doesn't sell, well, they'll come here and they'll... Hey, easy there. You don't have to worry about all that. You just worry about Jeremiah there. Yeah, but... but... Just worry about the horse. Yeah? yeah. Yes, sir. I think you two might be ready to go out without a chaperone. Oh, I'm not sure about that. You're good. Nice and easy now. Both of you. You Mr. Milton? I thought you were going to help me. I am. I was. I'm, I'm sorry. In trouble. Come on. <laughs> I need a man's help. I'm coming. Duncan, what have I told you about distracting the hands? I'm sorry, Ma. <sighs> well, I hope you'll listen to me better than my husband. Thank you, Mr. Milton. You're doing fine, kid. Give him a carrot when you put him down. Frickin' plot gates. What's up, horse? Oh, that reminds me. I can finally get used to this back. I think. I hope. So, you know much about birthing a foal, Milton? <laughs> Not too much. No. My God, where does my husband find men like you? Still, we all know where he goes in town, and it ain't hunting for hands. I. It's not too hard. You just uh, stick a hand in there and get a feeling for where the legs are. Go on. Whatever you say, ma'am. And all the stuff I've done on homesteads, I'm happy I kind of avoided doing this. Oh God. I think I found him. Okay, now hold on. Uh. Hold the milk. It'll come. Oh. Okay, well, uh. I think she's... Well, we're not out of the woods, but I think she may be okay. Great. We'll make a proper hand of you yet, Mr. Milton. I hope so. Thank you. My wife would love it. Oh, and Mr. Milton... Feel free to make a call at the house sometime. Perhaps even now. A drink to toast our new arrival. Uh, <laughs> I like that, but my wife is expecting me back. Yeah. Oh, you're married? Yeah. I didn't know we had any married hands. Yeah. yeah. We we have a boy. Maybe you've seen him around? Yeah. Oh, uh, I'm, I'm busy. Uh, too busy for social calls. Of course. Good day, Mr. Milton. I I think I just got solicited for sex. <laughs> and I feel weird. Abigail! Please come home soon! I feel dirty. I feel so dirty. I feel so dirty. My beautiful, 
Oh god, she's home. Actually, you know what? I think that's where we're gonna end the video. <laughs> as much as I get into this, I gotta remember if I don't stop, I'll end up in the same situation as why I had to leave this on all night. <laughs> Here's sweet lord. As usual, I hope you all enjoyed my wonderful tales of BSery <laughs> and about some fun little life notes. I mean, what the hell? I don't know. Improv is weird on YouTube, especially when you have to comment over nothing. That's weird. But as usual, I hope you all enjoyed it. Hey, if you all did enjoy, a great way of showing your support is by liking the video, subscribe to the channel, and by all means, sharing it with your friends. And if you want, you can just reach out to me over on Twitter. Just the BS. Or to hit me up with more Legends of the West requests, because I don't get enough of those on anything that's not Legends of the West. Ah, I love that series. I love, I love that series so much. I really do. Once again, thank you all for watching. Till next time, kids. Take care now. Bye-bye then.